At PEP, we understand that young people are leading the fight for reproductive justice. Young people are attending rallies, participating in policy formation, speaking at conferences, organizing marches, and they're doing many of these things here at the Pro-Choice Public Education Project. I think PEP is doing something for young people, young women in particular, that nobody else in the movement is doing. I think PEP walks the talk. I think that PEP creates change for young people in the sense that it's so focused on young women, particularly young women of color and low-income women and genderqueer young women, which is something that I believe that not many organizations are doing right now. And so to have something like the Young Women's Leadership Council as part of PEP to help help sort of structure itself in terms of what needs to be done within the pro-choice movement for young women. And I think that's been really beneficial for not only the council members, but also for the organization. They recognize that young people, by virtue of being young people, have a particular voice that needs to be heard. And by hearing that voice, by allowing it to be heard, that empowers people. Once your voice is heard, you feel like you can do anything. You feel like people are actually listening to you and, and you can take action, you know? Hi, my name is Amy Thorne Thompson and I'm the Executive Director of the Pro-Choice Public Education Project. As you've no doubt heard and seen, the leadership of young people in the reproductive justice movement is as important now as it's ever been. And it's really up to you to help us make the voices of young women, young transgender and young gender nonconforming people central to our fight for our liberation, for our justice, for all our communities. So we hope you'll join us and donate and lend your support in any way you can. Thank you.